Hey there, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. So I have a little confession. This video was made for a collab with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. And what happened was Christy posted a photo of Nora on her Instagram with I think a whole lot of pen all over her face. And then I said to Christy, I can't wait to see you scrap that. And then um, I mentioned that I had photos of my kids with things on their faces. And she said, do you want to collab? And I said, yes. And then I got really flat out with work. And um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to make my layout in time. And then I think I left it to the night before that it was due to be up. And I had told her I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it. And then I realized, no, I really, really want to do it. So I set myself up on our dining room table, which is why um, this background doesn't look, or my setup doesn't look like it normally does. It doesn't look that nice, but I think it was really cold that day and I just wanted to sit in the, um, where it was warm. And so, um, yeah, I made this probably a couple of weeks ago and it was due a couple of weeks ago and I got it onto Instagram, but I was still so crazy with work that I didn't get this video edited and voiced over until today. So I um, didn't want to not share it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to apologize to you, Christy, and say I'm sorry that I didn't get this video up till now, but better late than never, right? <laughs> and um, I've actually found some balance in my life lately. Um, I had a massive month in July, I think I've talked about it before, but um, I'm making some things a priority and because I just can't work all the time every day and in the evening etc and on the weekend so I'm making more time for exercise and also for creating and if you follow me on Instagram you know I've been pretty prolific at the moment um, just trying to catch up with my hip kits so that I don't get inundated and I because I can't handle all my supplies all my supplies that are, my newer supplies that I'm meant to be working with I can't handle them piling up so that is why and so anyway I suppose I better get on to um, telling you a bit about what's been happening here so this is the May hip kit and it features a lot of the stamp market and I think this is their first paper collection it's called Miss Modern it's absolutely beautiful it's quite clean and very contemporary and I was intimidated when I first um, started working with this kit but this I think was one of the last layouts I made with the kit so um, I definitely um, used quite a lot of the product and so with that script paper, I thought it would be perfect. I did think about using it for the entire background and doing a whole lot of mixed media on it, but it was a bit too much. And so I just trimmed it down. And then um, I'm just building some paper layers behind this little photo of Ava and popping my photo up with craft foam. And of course, distressing my edges and definitely still doing that. I think I say that every video. I'm sure one day I'll get to the point where I'm done with that and we'll move to something else, but right now it makes me happy. So with my photo, um, I realized this week I was looking through my photos and I realized that this is not actually the photo I wanted to scrap. The photo I wanted to scrap I think was of Brielle with makeup on her face that she'd put on her face and it just looked crazy. <laughs> but anyway, this is a photo of Ava and Azaria had done her lips and they were bright red and just looked so cute and she's very proud of it and let me take a photo. So um, yeah, I, I still think it fits with the theme of something on your child's face. Um, yeah, so we've gone with this one and I'm, I'm happy with how this turns out and Ava loves it of course and that to me is the most important thing. So here is another paper from the stamp market and it's these beautiful um, tropical looking flowers and so I'm just fussy cutting out this huge one. Um, most of them are really big and they go off the page as well and I quite like the challenge of using bits and pieces that go off the page that but you can see there. Um, not the one I'm working on but the piece the corner piece that's pink that ends up in a traveler's notebook spread and if you look at my Instagram or if you wait till my layout share which of this kit which will be coming up probably maybe tomorrow or the next day um, you'll see how I made that layout so here yeah just fussy cutting um, the leaves were a bit more difficult to fussy cut because there's a lot of white space and they don't join together but that didn't matter I just cut them anyway and um, you'll see so now I'm just wanting to build this cluster around my photo. Um, these journaling cards are perfect as well, also from the stamp market. Um, and what I've got there is my favourite evening treat, which is frozen cherries, and I just eat them 
frozen. I'll let them thaw a little bit and they're like um, a sweet or a lolly. If you here in New Zealand we call sweets lollies. So they are really, really healthy, but they taste like they're really naughty. But they're so good for you, so that's what I'm having. And I was going to use some of this Lindy's Magicals just to do a little bit of um, packaging technique on my background, but I decided to go a bit more bolder and get my watercolours out because I hadn't used them for a while. And I'm doing my favourite yellow and pink. I love how that looks together and I think it also goes really well with the colours in the kit. Just drying it off, um, I have to say that my heat tool has just been the most amazing tool lately. Um, it's used for far more things than embossing. In fact, I hardly ever use it for embossing. Probably because I don't hardly ever because I hardly ever emboss. Although I want to uh, change that soon because I have some stamps and I have some embossing ink and powder. But what I love about this is that I can dry off in between each layer, and I don't have to worry about my colours getting muddy or mixing. And the splatters that you make and then dry off end up with a darker line around around them, and I just love the look of that. So. Um, I don't think you see it on this layout, but I have some other ones where um, it's quite obvious. So just adding a bit more pink, um, often it looks like a hot mess. I actually made a layout today, I didn't put gesso down, and I was using Lindy's Magicals, and I thought, my goodness, this just looks terrible. But you know, you cover it up, and it just all seems to work out in the end. So this little um, card was perfect for my journaling, because there wasn't that much to say. So I just stuck to journaling in the sort of prompt areas, the white areas of that card, and then just um, ruffling up those edges again with my fingernail. And now working out where to put things. So that tag that says love colour, I outlined it because it was going to get a bit lost on the white side of the page. And then just to go with the theme of outlining, I'm also outlining my journaling card. In hindsight, I might have outlined all my um, papers, my little stacks of papers, but I think it looks quite good just having a few feature outlined pieces. So ruffling my paper again and wanting to get on to sticking everything down. Um, I don't 100% love this layout. I'm happy that the memory is scrapped, but um, I think because it's reminding me of another layout I made a few years ago. And I know I've said that before recently about layouts too that I've made, but um, yeah, I don't know. We can't love everything 100% that we make, can we? So I am not a person that would pull up a layout or remake a layout. Once it's made, it's made. Um, yeah, it works out in the end. I think it could be the mixed media, like the pink and the yellow, that isn't quite right for me. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter. It still ends up pretty. I think anything with florals and anything girly is going to end up quite pretty. So yeah, it's been a while since I looked at this, but um, I wanted to add some more flowers. This is a piece of pink paisley fifth in Monaco, and I think it begs to be fussy cut. I love that the flowers are quite photorealistic, and then you've got the leaves that are kind of hand drawn on in just black and white. They're really, really cute. And I love all the colours of the flowers. So I'm just adding some pink and some yellow. I don't think I add any orange because that would add another colour, but I, I could. Because <laughs> I, like I say, this was a while ago that I made it. So just committing committing to that love colour tag, tucking another flower underneath, and as always, I'm using my Stampin' Up Dimensionals just to add extra dimension on the edges of my flowers. Now these um, are like an enamel sticker. And I have to be honest, I did not get anywhere near killing them. Um, I think, I don't know, they're very summer themed, and this kit of course is summer themed, but for some reason I just couldn't, maybe it was because the photos I was scrapping were not pool photos or full on summer photos, but I have I think I'm going to put them into my July kit, because I think they'll go quite well in that one and try and get them used. These are some Dear Lizzie stickers, and the other sheet is a Pink Paisley 5th and Monaco. Um, just sort of working through here trying to see what I can make work. So I am adding some of those sticker flowers as well. They look really cute. Um, I did struggle a bit with both of those sticker sheets. Um, I don't know why. 
Could be, once again, it could be because they are very summer themed and this is not a summer photo. Or And even if it was, it's inside our house and, um, yeah, it's not screaming summer to me. So I'm adding a few other flowers. I think it might be a dear Lizzie flower there as well. So mixing different types of flowers and I do quite like doing that. And then I'm thinking I need to add some liquid adhesive and also pop up sort of the ends of these letters because you can't really tell here but there is quite a lot of dimension with my layers. So I just trim the edges of these dimensionals and you can get little thin pieces of foam. And then just adding the liquid adhesive to the part that's going to stick onto that journaling card. So just um, nearly finished here, just wanting to see what else I can add. Um, often when I'm working with these kits, I, I do want to kill them and I want to use as much as possible. Um, use a little gold circle that says love. There were a few um, sort of birds tropical birds, animals and things on these and they didn't really go with this layout either so I don't even know if I've used many of them onto my layouts at all. The bow is from Amy Tangerine, I just adore that little um, little set of bows that comes in this, I think you get eight and I think I've used about six of them. That is a crepe paper flower, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's a pack of three and Figures from a Maggie Holmes collection, but they're, they're so beautiful. They're the kind of embellishment that you don't want to use, but you make yourself use. <laughs> and um, it's, a, it's a kind of embellishment that you use sparingly. So I've made them go onto three different pages rather than just putting them all onto the one. So I've also got these Vicky Booten ephemera pieces, and they weren't originally meant to be in the kit. I think it was Dear Lizzie ephemera, but for some reason um, HipKit couldn't get them. So... They replaced them with the Vicky Boot and Let's Wander ephemera, and I really struggled with them. I think because the stamp market is so clean in terms of contemporary clean lines, and um, the Vicky Burton ones are more grungy, but I used as many as I could. The butterflies and flowers were really, really beautiful, and I think I used all of them. Those are some phrase and label stickers from the stamp market, and I got a couple of them onto this layout. So now I'm just looking for them. My Final touches, a few small elements. Um, this is a tropical leaf which you think wouldn't go with this layout at all, but when it's tucked behind some florals, it actually looks really good. So, yeah, um, do make sure you head on over to Christy's channel, not just to look at the layout that she made for this, but she has got several new series starting up and they are all amazing. Um, she's a very, very creative has wonderful ideas and I just want to play along with everything she does so and she encourages that too and she has hashtags etc for um, if you want to play along. So my very final touch is to add some splatters and if you use a paintbrush the bigger the paintbrush the bigger the splatter and if you hold it down as well you can get a big splatter. So rather than use the spray wand um, I've just gone with both the brush and the wand for this to get the variants and splatters. And then I thought, hey, let's try painting on the colour shine around the edge. Because I wasn't 100% happy with my outlining. I think it was a bit wonky. And so this um, just takes away from the fact that it's not perfect by making it more imperfect. And that is my layout. So thanks guys for watching. And yeah, I'll be back soon with a layout share. Take care.